patients I see in my practice, the ones who get well versus the ones who never get well, the ones who never get well practice pain avoidance decision making. They make decisions which will hurt the least right now or feel the best right now. It's all about not hurting rather than making decisions about what's actually healthy regardless of how it feels. And so I have to teach my patients how reality works. Once there is brokenness of any kind, there are no pain-free options. None. You have a broken leg? And you won't let them touch it. It hurts too bad. They can't splint it. They can't put a pin in it. You won't let them, do, you won't let them touch it because it hurts. And to move it really hurts worse for a short period of time. So you, make, you, make, you won't let them touch it. You don't avoid pain. You're chronically in pain. And you're chronically disabled. You let them splint it. You let them pin it. You go to physical therapy. There is pain in the process. But because it's all working in harmony with restoring, notice doctors are always working to restore people back to design, to design law. Doctors don't get people well in violations of the laws of health. They're working to put people in harmony with the laws of health. But when we're out of harmony, there's brokenness, you can't get back in harmony without some discomfort. So learning to stand your ground and say, I'm not going to run from discomfort. I'm going to choose what's healthy, even if it feels bad in the moment, because it leads to health and eventually I get my function back and the pain goes away. This is why we rejoice in our trials and tribulations, because the trials and tribulations bring character, to help build care, patience, and, and it helps build character. We can't have a healed heart unless we're willing to carry the cross, to be crucified to self. Christ suffered in his flesh. Arm yourself with the same attitude, for those who suffer in the flesh are done with sin. Smoker is convicted he needs to quit. If he decides to put him down and actually quits, will there be a period of flesh suffering? Yeah. Where he'll be craving, but he says no, and he goes through a period of agony and, and suffering of the flesh. As long as he suffers, meaning he's saying no to what the flesh wants, he's done with smoking. But if he stops suffering and gives in to gratify the craving, now he's not done with sin, he's partaking again. This is a metaphor. This is true. We will be tempted with insecurities and fears and self-centeredness. And when they come in the process of, through our relationship with Jesus Christ, overcoming those temptations, there is a period of agony. And you see this through scripture. Look in Jacob's night of trouble. When did Jacob finally get his victory? It was the night in which he wrestled with the angel. That whole time he was, God was working with him, but he still hadn't had the victory. And so it says he wrestled, uh, how, exactly how the language goes, um, but he wrestled with the angel, okay? It wasn't wrestling against the angel, which most people think. The angel and him w were wrestling with, it's like they were tag team together, wrestling with the angel against his own fear and selfishness. If you remember what was happening, Esau was coming. He sent all of his servants out. He sent his flocks out. He sent his own family out. They're all insulated. They're like bulletproof vests for him. He's hiding behind to protect self, right? And the last to cross because he's afraid. He's self-centered. And what is he doing? He's wrestling that night, and he finally gets the victory over his own selfishness because he was wrestling with the angel over against his selfishness. What about Peter? After his betrayal, he goes out and weeps bitterly, and he's wrestling with his own selfishness. What about David after he has his terrible sin and Nathan confronts him? He goes and weeps bitterly and he wrestles with his selfishness. We all will be faced with this at some point. An agonizing night of the soul. And we either, with our relationship with Jesus Christ, face it, die to self and experience the rebirth. Or we run from it like Judas.